Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make butter beer cupcakes. They're butterscotch flavored cupcakes with a bit of cream soda in it, a whipped butterscotch ganache filling, frosted with butterscotch frosting, and a drizzle of butterscotch ganache. They are delicious. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to subscribe. I post new videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So let's get started. First, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Then into a medium bowl, add in the flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt, and whisk them until they're combined, and set it aside for now. Then into a large bowl, add in the softened butter, sugar, and dark brown sugar, and cream them with an electric mixer on medium-low speed for five or six minutes until they're very light and pale. Don't beat it on high speed or it won't incorporate as much air into the mixture. Then add in the eggs one at a time. Make sure they're at room temperature. Mixing really well after adding each one. Then add in the vanilla extract and butter extract. This is the secret ingredient. It really enhances that buttery butterscotch flavor. If you can't find it or don't want to, you can leave it out. And mix it until they're combined. Then mix together the room temperature buttermilk and cream soda in a small bowl or a liquid measuring cup. Then alternate adding the dry and wet ingredients into the butter and sugar mixture. Start by adding a third of the dry ingredients. Mix them in on low speed until almost combined but not fully incorporated. Then add in half of the wet ingredients. Mix until almost combined. Add in another third of the dry ingredients. Then the rest of the wet ingredients. And the rest of the dry ingredients. Then finish it by hand until it's just combined. Don't overmix the batter or the cupcakes will come out with a tough texture. Scoop the batter into two muffin pans lined with cupcake liners, filling each one up about two-thirds of the way full. You should get 20 to 24 cupcakes with this recipe. Then bake them in the oven for 15 to 18 minutes until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. When they're done, remove them from the oven and leave them to cool completely. To make the butterscotch ganache filling, in a small or medium heat-proof bowl, add in the butterscotch chips and heavy cream, and heat them in the microwave or over a double boiler until they're all melted and smooth. If you're doing it in the microwave, stir it every 30 seconds so it's heating evenly. Set aside a third of a cup of this butterscotch ganache. And wrap the rest in plastic wrap and place it into the fridge until it's very cold and thick, about one to two hours. To make the frosting, in a large bowl, add in the softened butter 
and beat it with an electric mixer on medium speed for a few minutes until it's light and pale. Then add in the butterscotch ganache that was set aside earlier. Make sure it's cooled to room temperature before adding it in. Vanilla extract and butter extract. Again, you can leave it out in this too if you choose to. And beat them on medium speed for another minute. Sift in the powdered sugar. Mix it in with a spoon at first. Then beat it with the electric mixer until it's well combined. Then add in the heavy cream or milk one teaspoon at a time until it forms a frosting-like consistency. Then add in the salt. Mix it in until it's combined. And finish it by hand to combine all the ingredients. Once the butterscotch ganache is very cold and thick, remove it from the fridge and whip it with an electric mixer until it becomes light and airy. Try not to over whip it or it will have a grainy texture. Add the whipped ganache into a piping bag and cut off the tip of the bag. Cut out the middle of each cupcake and fill them with the whipped butterscotch ganache. And pipe the frosting on top of them. Add some of the remaining butterscotch ganache into a separate plastic bag. Seal the bag, but leave it a little open. And heat it in the microwave until it's melted. It doesn't take long at all, only 5 to 10 seconds. Don't heat it until it's very hot. Place the cooling rack with the cupcakes on top of a sheet pan. Cut off the corner of the bag with the ganache and drizzle it all over the top of each cupcake. Let them sit for about 15 minutes until the ganache has set. And that's how to make butterbeer cupcakes. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give this video a like and check out my channel for many more videos and subscribe to my channel for more to come. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.